Hi, my name is Emily and I'm a faithful follower of Christ. And if you are a Christian, I was going to title this video, If You're a New Christian. But if you're a new Christian or an old Christian or a young Christian or a teenager, there's my poodles. Jubilee, can you smile? Can you smile? Don't jump. You guys are doing so good at not jumping. Oh my gosh, please don't jump on me. Walter, can you sit? You're such a good boy. Walter's our best sitter. If you're a Christian, I want to recommend to you listening to Melissa Doherty. I'm going to link below a video that I listened to earlier today, but just click on her channel and scroll through. She is so awesome, so intelligent, um, so bold and brave like we're supposed to be. Um, we as Christians are supposed to counter culture because this world is being ruled by the enemy so we certainly don't want to fall into the trap of the lure and desire of conforming to the ways of this world Romans 12 1 through 2 do not conform to the ways of this world but instead be a living sacrifice. Those are great verses. I'll link those below also. But Melissa Doherty. So some of you, and it's been a long time, maybe one or two of you asked me, you know, could you talk a little bit more about this? Could you talk a little bit more about that? Um, about things pertaining to Christianity? And I just think if you scroll through Melissa's YouTube channel, she has so, so, so many videos that She is so well-spoken and articulate with describing Christianity and in its purest form. And she comes from a place, her testimony is amazing because she got, I think, wrapped up or involved in would be understatements with New Age, um, new age beliefs and and how a lot of churches actually um incorporate new age beliefs which are satanic and when i say satanic i don't mean like the boogeyman i mean they are anti-god anti-bible anti-christ anti-gospel messages and she was so involved with all of that and here she's so highly intelligent and in this video that I link below, she actually talks about um, sort of assuming that Christians had blind faith and that they were sort of, well, that's just not real bright to um, not think critically. And now I just think what she's doing is awesome where she is taking her, she's using everything God's given her including her intelligence and her inquisitiveness and her curiosity and her determination to put the truth out there. I've said many times, Satan knows scripture. He knows the Bible inside and out. I remember years ago reading that book that Oprah was pushing, The Secret. And on day page, excuse me, on page 49, it was either 49 or 59, I just always remember, I got to that page and was like, whoa, this is not right. This is not right. That book tells you the answers are inside of you. And there's scripture throughout. Satan knows scripture. He's at work twisting the truth. We should know scripture. And we should be able to discern lies from truth. And we should be able to detect when there's just something that's not quite right about messages that we're hearing. So when we know the truth, the way, the truth, and the life, meaning we know Jesus, and the preacher that preached at the Salvation Army Sunday morning, that's what his sermon was about, and it was awesome. He said there's a big difference between knowing about and of Jesus and knowing Him. One of the first sermons I ever preached was called Real Relationship, R-E-A-L that no one could tell me that Jesus is not real because I've been in a relationship with him now for 25 or 30 years. People couldn't convince me anymore that Jesus isn't real 
than trying to convince me that my cousin or my mom or my friend or that cashier at Walmart's not real. I'm in a relationship with Jesus. It's intimate. It's personal. It's one-on-one. -on -one. If you know of Jesus and about Jesus, let me encourage you to get to know Jesus personally. Be in a one-on-one -on -one parent child relationship with him. Honor thy father and their mother. Honor thy father as in Jesus. Let me encourage you to get to know him in a way you've never known him before personally. Oh, I'm getting a call from my contractor. I love you dearly. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Check out Melissa's YouTube channel below.